I can't believe it. I got an eviction notice from my apartment. What am I gonna do? It says here that the owner wants to sell the apartment and I have two weeks to get out? How can they do this to me? I've nowhere to stay, I've nowhere to go. I just want to get a new job. I don't think Donnie will want a homeless nanny. But I have to tell him, he deserves to know the truth. Oh gosh, I better stop looking for a new place, but everything is so expensive and so far away. I really don't know what to be doing. Hello! Hi Donnie, how are you doing today? Oh hey Sophia, how are you? I'm really really good. I was just sitting here watching some TV and just chilling out. Uh, are you ready for your day's work? Um, yeah, sure. So do you have a list of what you would like me to do? Uh, yes, yeah. so basically I need you to clean the kids' bedrooms and uh, make sure all their clothes are nice and tidy and wash all their sheets and stuff. And then uh, clean all the rooms are down here, make sure everything, all the floors are cleaned, clean the kitchen, clean the oven and also clean my bedroom. Yeah, sure. Sounds great. And what would you like for lunch today? I'll cook something nice. Mm, yeah, I was thinking maybe some burgers and chips because the kids like that as well. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, well, I better get started, so... Uh, yeah, I guess so. You, can, you, mean, you don't have to start straight away. We can hang out for a little bit if you want to. Um, yeah, sure. Where are the kids? Well, uh, baby Kyle's up in his bedroom and baby Kyle is out in the garden just playing with her toys. Uh, is everything okay with you? You seem a bit down today. Uh, actually, no. Um, nothing is okay at the moment. I was meant to talk to you about it, but... I don't want to make you feel upset or sad or... Oh gosh, okay, I think we better sit down for this. I just don't even know where to start, so... um. I got this letter in the post today and it says that I have to leave my apartment within the next two weeks and I just don't know what to do because I've looked on the market and everything is so expensive and so far away and if I have to leave that place and move somewhere else I probably won't be able to come and work anymore because it's gonna be too much hassle with the traveling so Oh, I'm just so upset because I really like working for you and I love the kids and I think so far I did a really good job and we're getting on so well, so uh, this really upsets me, Donnie. I really don't know what to do. Oh my gosh, that sounds terrible. I mean, it's such a bad thing that they're going to sell the apartment there. But you know what? Look, uh, this place is huge. I've got so much space here. I've got spare bedrooms. There's two spare bedrooms upstairs. I could even build another one if you wanted to. Why don't you just move in here and that way you don't have to travel to work all the time. You're just in work and you can be with the kids a bit more often and you can do even more work here as well. So it's going to work out best for everybody. Oh gosh, Danny, this is, this is too much. Uh, that sounds amazing, but I can't accept that offer. I don't know, it wouldn't be a little bit weird if I'm your nanny and I live with you guys? Well, I guess no, a lot be of so nannies silly, do look. that. You know what, let's go ask baby Kyle to see what she says because if she thinks it's going to be okay and she's going to like having you here, that means the kids are going to be happy with it and I think it's going to be a great idea. I mean, if they're happy and I'm happy and you're happy, why shouldn't we do it? But I don't want to impose. I mean, you'll have to see me every single day, even if I finish work, so... Would that not be a bit annoying for you and the children and baby No, it's going to be fine. Look, oh, there she is. Baby Kyla, um, uh, so Sophia has a bit of issues with her landlord and she's going to have to move out. So I was saying that she should move in here with us and just have one of the spare bedrooms. What do you think? Oh my gosh, yay! I think that is the best idea, Daddy. We have so many spare rooms in the palace and she should definitely leave here. Oh, so have sleepovers every single day that's what i was thinking i was thinking it's going to be a great idea and um, baby kai's going to like it as well isn't he um yes of course he will be so excited i cannot wait to tell him oh baby awesome. Kyla, that's it. you're so it's sweet out. um donnie can i just talk to you about something real quick yeah of course of course um, is everything okay if I move here, which I don't know if I will yet, but if I do, what about Leah? She seemed very upset the last time when she ran into us at the beach. I don't know, maybe you should talk well, to her you know first? What? 
that's Leah's problem because she's down there now in her new house and she's got a new boyfriend. I saw her yesterday actually on a date with John. So I think oh. she's moving on pretty fast without me. So we don't have to worry about her. She's going to be happy for me. And you know what? We're not dating or anything. We're just, uh, you're just working here. Well, yeah, I guess so. I just don't want to make anybody upset or cause any fights between you guys. So maybe you should go and talk to Leah and see how she feels about it. And if she feels great, then I'm definitely gonna take that offer up and move in with you guys. I would love to do that, but first you have to tell Leah, Donnie, please. Okay, yeah, absolutely. I'll tell her the situation that you got nowhere to live and you've got loads of space here. So you're gonna move in and I'm sure she's gonna be just fine with it. And you know what? You can move in straight away. Okay, well, how about you go talk to Leah and I'm gonna go and get started on my chores. Awesome. Okay, I'll see you soon. Okay, bye. Hey, Leah, it's little Donny. Can I come in? Um, come in, please. The door is open. Hey, how's it going? Uh, wow, this house is so cool. I bet you love living down here. <laughs> of course I do, but I really need to get a painter to get rid of all that pink and purple. I think it's a little bit childish, don't you think? No, I love it. I love the color. It's awesome. <laughs> you should keep it. Um, so I just wanted to talk to you about something really important. Uh, you know my new nanny, Sophia? Well, she just got kicked out of her apartment and she's pretty sad. So I offered for her to come and live in the palace so she can work there all the time and do all the chores for me. So just wanted uh, to make sure what? you thought it was okay. Um, I don't really think it's okay, but thank you for telling me. Um, could you not, like, help her with the rent and make her rent somewhere else? I mean, there's loads of places in the city where she can rent. Why does she have to leave in the palace with you guys? Well, that's just gonna cost so much money and she's gonna have to get the bus every day. It's just way easier to live in the palace. That way, every morning she can help with the kids get their lunches ready. She can get their uniforms ready. She can dress their beds. I mean, it's gonna be so much easier for me and the kids to have her there doing all the work that you used to do. But... I can still do that, Donny. If you need me to get the kids ready for school, I will do that. I'm the mother. <laughs> her living there? Next thing you know, the children are gonna start calling her mommy. And I'm not sure that I like that. I think you're getting too close to her, Donny. And remember Don't what... be silly. They're not gonna call her mommy. I mean, they're not, that's not her mommy. She's a nanny, okay? They're gonna call her Sophia and that's it. No one's gonna be calling her mommy, right? You're the mommy and that's it. She's just there to do a job and to do some work. And what, the next thing you know, you're gonna be dating her and kissing her and you're gonna be proposing to her and marrying her. I know what's gonna happen, Donnie. And at the end, she's gonna turn out to be evil and they're just for the money, like the rest of the babysitters you ever hired. Don't be silly, that's not gonna happen, okay? She's just a nice girl, she's doing a good job now. Stop being so silly. I just came down to tell you to be nice, all right? I'm doing this and I don't need your permission. Okay, fine. Well, I don't want to fight with you, Donnie. I mean, we still have to be friends. We still have kids together. And I appreciate the fact that you came up and you told me. I'm not happy about it, but at least you told me the truth and you're not doing it behind my back. So thank you so much. And you know what? Just leave, please. I really don't want to talk to anybody right now. Fine. Okay. See you later. And uh, oh, by the way, I hope you enjoyed your date with John. Um, actually, I did enjoy my date with John. You know what? I kind of wish that he would ask me on a date back in high school, because then maybe I wouldn't be married to you. Whatever. Bye. Bye. Sophia, hey, how's it going? Uh, you enjoying your day? Um, hey, Danny. Yeah, I nearly finished cleaning the kitchen. So what's going on? Did you get a chance to talk to Leah? Yeah, I just went down and spoke to her and you know what, uh, everything is perfect. She was really, really happy and she said that it's going to be great for the kids to have you around to do all the work for them and it'll be like having a mom there as well. So she's really happy. I didn't see anything bad at all. Oh my gosh, really? I'm really shocked because I really didn't think that she liked me after that conversation on the beach. But this is great, Donnie. I'm so happy. So in two weeks, I'm going to get to move in here. This is awesome. Uh, actually, you know what I was thinking? Why don't you just move in straight away? You don't have to wait in that apartment for the next two weeks. I mean, come on upstairs and I'll show you. I've got a bedroom up here that's oh. going to be perfect for you. And you know what? You can move in today. You go get your stuff. I'll tidy up the room. And you're going to be here when the kids get back from school. And they're going to be so happy. Oh my gosh, really, Tony? I mean, you're too nice to me. Um, I'm going to pay rent for the room, of course. Um, How much will that be? 
I'm a beast city. You can stay here for free. I mean, you know what? All you have to do is just do a little bit more work, which will be here anyway. So you can. So it's going to be awesome. Look, oh, there's a wow. kind of a bed here. And there used to be a TV down there. But I'll get you a new TV. And you've got a computer. And you've got loads of books to read. And I mean, I can change the colors as well if you want. Um, no, this is absolutely perfect. Wow, Donnie, thank you so much for this. And I really hope this works out for us. I hope that I won't be annoying you and... You have to promise me if you ever want me to be out for a few days so you can have your mean time, you just have to tell me because I can take weekend trips back to my parents' house and just let you be, okay? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Don't worry about a single thing. You've got this room and you're going to be here for a long time and I think we're going to have a great time together. I think so too, Tony. I cannot wait to move in with you.